Next question is Poppy. Poppy is employed by Zune PLC and she is also a member of partnership. The following information is available. During the tax year 22-23, Poppy was paid a gross annual salary of 65,000 in respect of employment with Zune PLC. During the period from 1st August 22 to 5th April 23, Zune PLC provided Poppy with a diesel car which has a list price of 21,800, car cost 20,600 and it has an official CO2 emission rate of 75 grams per kilometer. The car does not meet the real driving emission to standard. So RD to standard means real driving emission to standard. Poppy was not provided with fuel benefit. So what we have to consider? In first we have to consider that it is always the less price that we have to take and that is 21,800, not the value cost 20,600 for the employer. Second, on the basis of CO2 emission, we have to calculate the appropriate percentage. As the car is not meeting the DT, DT, RD2 standard, then the formula will be 20 plus 75 CO2 emission of this particular car minus 55 divided by 5. So this will give you an answer of 20 by 5, 4. 24 percentage. So, you have to take 21,800 24 percentage and this is for the period of 8 months. Why 8 months? Because car is provided for the 8 months period. Throughout the tax years, Zoom PLC provided Poppy with 2 mobiles. 2 mobiles, the telephone had each cost 480 pounds when purchased by the company in March 2022. So, one mobile phone the provision of one mobile phone is exempt but if he is providing if the company is providing two mobile phone then in case of second mobile phone it is the 20 percent of phone cost that should be recorded as a taxable income taxable benefit of employee all of the taxable benefit provided by zune are payroll again payroll partnership poppy has been in partnership with rose and teaser since 6th april 2014. But Teasel resigned as a partner on 6th July 22. The partner have always shared profit equally. What does it mean? The partner, Teasel partner retired during this tax year. This tax year remember start on 6th April 22 and ends on 5th April 23. The partner is retiring on 6th July 22. So this is the period April, May, June. This is a three months period when the, there are three partners in a partnership. So the profit of first three months will be shared in one third ratio each. And after the retirement of Teasel, the remaining partners uh, are two, means uh, Rose and Poppy. So they will share the profit or loss of the next nine months equally, means one by two. For the year ended 5th April 22, the partnership had tax adjusted trading loss of 19,500. The figure is before taking account of capital loss, means as a result of uh, capital loss, this loss can be aggregated. Next, the only item of plant and machinery owned by partnership is car with CO2 emission of 90 grams per kilometer. The car was used by Poppy and 70% of the mileage was for private journey. So only 30% is used for business purpose. The return on value is 8400. The car was sold for 5400. So a little different adjustment this is. Uh, treatment is that in the main pool, the return on value is 8400. We have sold this car for 5400. So remaining value is 3000, right? As this car is used only 30% for business purpose. As they have mentioned, 70% is for private journey. It means 30% this car is used for business purpose. So we have to take 30% of this uh, 3000, the business usage. The business usage is 900 only. So you know that if the balancing amount is uh, 1000 or less, then it is provided as balancing allowance means capital allowance in that particular year. So this 900 will be provided as capital allowance and this will aggravate the loss of 
19,500 to 20,400. Again, it is the car's value, return down value, 8400. The partnership has sold that car for 5400, so the remaining value is 3000. This car is used by poor people, 70 percent for private purpose. So it means it is only used for 30 percent for business purpose. So we are taking 3000, 30 percent, which is the business usage, as 900. As now we have considered this, the value is 900. So if the remaining value of uh, main pool is 1000 or less then it will be provided as capital allowance. So as a result of this 900 of capital allowance the loss will aggravate because this loss is provided before capital allowance. Right? UK government securities on 1st January 23 poppy purchase for 50,000 gills with a nominal value of 40,000. The gill paid interest at the rate of 3 percent with interest paid half yearly on 30th June and 31st December based on the nominal value. Poppy sold the gills on 31st March 23 for 50,300 including accrued interest. So we, here we have to consider the income. The face value is 40,000 and we have to record interest for 3 percent and the holding period in this current year is from 1st January 23 to 5th April 24, 3 that is a period of 3 months. So we have to record interest income for this 3 months period only. As far as uh, the capital gain is considered, it is a ZAM benefit for the employee. Next balancing payment, Poppy filed the self assessment tax return for the tax year 21-22 by the filing date, but did not make the balancing payment of 2600 until 31st class 23. She was not required to make any payment on account. So question is, assuming that Poppy's claim loss relief against her total income for the tax year 22-23, calculate our taxable income for this tax year. So here we have to consider this fact that in the partnership business the total loss is 20,400 and this 20,400 benefit will be shared and the poppy share in the first three months is one third and next nine months it is one half. So let's consider the answer. So first this is employment income, this is given as uh, 65,000 salary recorded, then the car has 21,800 of list price, the percentage, appropriate percentage is 24 and the period from 1st August to 3rd, 5th April 8 months, so 8 month benefit is recorded. For mobile phone it was provided throughout the year, so 480 of 20% of 480 is recorded as taxable benefit. As far as saving income is concerned, this is the face value of investment, remember face value of investment at the rate of 3 percent for the 3 months because the investment is made on 1st January 23. Loss relief, for loss relief they have made some calculation, the total loss is 20,400 and loss of first 3 months period is share as a, and the share of poppy is one third of that, 20,400 total loss for the whole year. 3 by 12 first 3 months share of loss multiplied by 1 3 means this first 3 months of loss is shared between 3 partners, three partners so it is 1 by 3rd of this 1700. In case of uh, Tzl retire on 6th July then from 6th July to 5th April this is a period of 9 months and 9 months period loss is 24,000, 20,400 multiplied by 9 by 12 and it will be shared half by Rose and Poppy. So that is how this is 9350. So 9350 loss and that we will consider the personal loans and the taxable income is 46,964. Because Poppy's benefit are payroll, the related income tax liability will have been calculated under pay as you earn along with the tax on the salary. Payroll benefit do not have to be reported to HMRC on form and PL11D because uh, they are payroll. Interest will be charged for the period from 1st, 31st January to 31st August if you are calculating. Uh, 
this is the uh, late payment interest that is to be charged from Popey because he has, she has to pay uh, the tax on 31st January and she is paying on 31st August. So, this will be 2600 rate of interest is 3.25 percent for the period of 7 months. Two penalties of uh, 130 will be imposed on the balancing payment, one when it is one month late and the other when it is six months late. For the tax administration rule, you can consult the tax administration topic lecture in on this channel. So, this is about the second question, Poppy.